Hey everybody, so the New Year's celebrations have come and go and I just wanted to take the time to introduce you guys to a concept in Japan you may not be familiar with. It's called Fukubukuro. Now Fukubukuro is a very a traditional sort of uh, tradition that happens here in Japan and it happens on the first day of the new year or sometimes the second. It's basically called like, like a goodie bag, a gift bag, a random mystery bag. And as such, a lot of people in Japan tend to go to their favorite shops because they know they're going to get a bag that's just chock full of all their favorite sort of items and it's usually about double to triple the amount of value that you would normally have to buy everything at. But the real question is, what do you get inside of it? So I went out here with you guys, with the money, and originally I was going to go to the Mac store, the Apple store, and try their random fukubukuros, which usually has the best, including even like a MacBook Air or so. But this year they decided not to do it, probably because everybody was on to them at this point. But let me go ahead and just show you exactly what I got. And this isn't going to be a fukubukuro bag, but this is just something that I bought from my favorite store, Village Vanguard. If you guys are familiar with Oz or Spencer's, this is kind of the Japanese version of it. And I already know what this one is, but they had fukubukuro bags, but I just wasn't really interested in buying something random. And one of the bigger problems in being a foreigner is that they generally don't have your size. However, I did catch one thing that caught my eye, which was like a Batman superhero thing, and it was like Ghost in Yen, which is around 50 something dollars. I thought about getting it for you guys, but unfortunately, like I said, it was medium, so it just wasn't going to fit me. So instead, I just ended up getting one shirt here. They had a Batman that I thought was really cool too, but I just didn't get it. Um, because uh, they didn't have my size. But here's one that I did get, and this is my size. This is The Flash. And it's pretty cool. Uh, in Japan, I wear a medium. Um, but I honestly think that this was imported or something. This was made somewhere else because this, yeah, it was made in Mexico. So I, for American uh, US sizes, um, uh, uh, imp uh, international sizes, I'm wearing a medium now where I used to wear like an extra large or a large. I'm slimming down. But in Jap Japanese, I generally have to wear like a large uh, or an extra large. If I want something tight, a large. If I want uh, more loose, extra large. But in American, I wear medium for tight, large for tight. Let's try it on. Back in a flash. Oh, okay. I'm back here. Whew. And I'm dizzy. Uh, it's kind of cold still right now in Japan, so uh, I'm not going to go fully uh, as it is. But as you can see, this is what it looks like. I like it. I can't wait to use it for my regular flash reactions. Now, let's go ahead and get to the main event. Oh, and you can see. I don't know what that is. So there was really only one thing. I thought about going and getting that cable. So I thought about going to get that one KFC sort of a goodie bag, a fukubukuro that you guys saw in the video. But when I started doing the math, I realized it just wasn't going to be for my benefit. So instead, I went right next door and got the mis misodo. This is Mr. Donut. Now Mr. Donut is basically, as you can imagine, it's a donut shop. And this is the misodo fukubukuro. Um, it was 1,000 yen. So let's see if this Fukubukuro, our lucky bag from Mr. Donut, was worth it. Now, first and foremost, it did cost 10 yen, which is about $10. And it came with, I want to show you this. This is actually a card for you can get 10 donuts 
from Mr. Donut with this card, basically. 10 donuts for Mr. Donut. So just doing the math, sometimes they do have sales where the uh, donuts are 100 yen and only a select few now. But the average price for a donut is 100, oh, 180 yen or so. So if you start to do the math already, that's that's uh, twice the value right here, almost twice the value here, uh, especially if you get the specialty donuts, which are sometimes 300 um, and such. But I believe the limit here, yeah, each donut, the limit here is 180 yen each donut. It expires in three months. I go to Mr. Donut all the time. I'm gonna enjoy this big time. So already the money, uh, the value is already here. I should have bought. I should have bought two. Now, now let's take a look here at what's actually in the bag of the goodies. How, if we're gonna get lucky, okay? Um, someone told me I might be disappointed though. But let me see. So the first thing is, uh, all right, we'll go with this one. What's this? Okay. It's a really girly calendar <laughs> with donuts and bears and yeah, okay. <laughs> so let's take a look here. Can you guys see it? Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. 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 Yeah, okay. Okay. Yeah. Alright, good. So Okay, so good if you're interested in that kind of stuff. Um, maybe I do need a calendar to put on my wall here. It's quite empty right now. <laughs> there is nothing in this wall, so I probably do need something to uh, sort of uh, focus, focus! Uh, yeah, so, okay. We know exactly what we're gonna do there. The next thing here. Okay! So we got the Misudo. This is a... Uh, Rilakkuma, 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 which is something bear. Um, Kuma is Japanese for bear, and uh, at least okay, they have a blue. Oh, it's a, it's a, it's a handbag. Okay, it's a purse right there. You can put your stuff in there. Put my wine glass, and maybe not. No. The blue one. Still, I always like to smell new stuff yeah so blue yeah okay can I put my lightsaber in here uh, you know you never know when you need to pack the force let's go to the next thing I don't know what that is all right here we go last thing oh boy we got a towel here okay a second Okay, look at that. It's nice though. I'm not gonna lie. It's pink. <laughs> it's pink. It's pink, but uh, it might just, I don't know. I'm not gonna lie though. Even though it is pink, it feels really good. With that, wrap around. Oh yeah, baby. So, you know, when I'm taking a shower, I can get all nice and pink clean but I'm not gonna lie it does it feels really really good ladies would you like to join me in my bear I don't know I'll give this to one of my chicks all I need to do this year is to get some chicks so there you guys go guys I hope you enjoyed it that was the misuro happy and tasty Fukubukuro, aka Lucky Bag. I look forward to uh, spending even more money next year. I think the real issue though is for men, it's a little more difficult because for women, there's a more of a variety I noticed of uh, variety bags that you can kind of check out and, uh, and different things like that. Here, go ahead, take a look real quick. Hey! 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 Hey!
They don't have my size. I'm 30 centimeters. Cause I got a big dick. But I found the biggest issue here is it's for the men is that is we're very size and specifically oriented stuff like there are lucky bags you can get with electronics but if you're someone like me you don't want the mystery of ABC version D no you just want a you just want this particular version you this particular set I was this close to getting a camcorder but they were kind of they didn't really know the specifics of the camcorder they couldn't really sell me on it they didn't really let me know if it was going to be better than the one I'm using right now so for me there's really no point to that uh, they had some other fukubukuros for like the PS Vita but I have it the PlayStation 4 they I have it already so there's not much more I don't really want to be stuck with a game so there wasn't really much they could sell you on electronic wise and when it comes to shirts and such like I already said you're very you gotta be very specific I mean they did have I'm um, kind of if I was more in a financial area if I could just spend money like this if I knew that the money was gonna come back through these videos I probably would have gotten one of those vi uh, vin uh, village vanguard uh, fukubukuros because um, even if I even if I knew that I couldn't use it I could at least give it away for to, for you guys and you guys could uh, take advantage of it but I am trying to be very cautious nowadays with uh, space to become a little more sp space oriented and not just get a bunch of random stuff each time I keep moving because it keeps on building up believe me believe that the more of these little trinkets you get in Japan the more your apartment, your little mansion, or little thing just starts to build up. See, look, look at this, look at this, look at this. This is already, I just moved in here a few weeks ago, and this is ideally what I'm trying to stay with. It's empty, spatial, a little messy, but that's it. Bare minimum, but yeah, let's put a bunch of posters up on the wall and such. What we want to try to avoid is so many more clothes and things like that um, that's where it gets kind of messy but for now for now it's okay oh shit those are my boxers but as I was saying <laughs> for now it's okay but you know what the really scary part is the majority of my stuff is still in Fukuoka all right guys so Akemashita Medoto and I will check back with you on a Fukubukuro hopefully next year I'm out peace Akasan's honest reactions. I am Akasan. Uh, uh, no, you're not. Yes, I am. N no, you're yes, not. I don't know who you are. Okay, I I'm Jenna Marbles. I'm Akasan. Yeah. Okay, like, Hi. subscribe, and share. Hi. Yeah. We'll switch channels. Okay. okay. Sounds good. Okay. <laughs>